Certainly in the court of public opinion, I think uh, the district attorney could have easily appointed a special prosecutor to review this case. Perhaps a DA from another county, perhaps a retired DA, perhaps just uh, a lawyer with extensive experience, civil law, criminal <coughs> law. I could have done, conducted the exact same process using all the resources of the office. That certainly was an option. Uh, the district attorney chose not to <coughs> pursue that option. That seems to be a trend around the country. DAs take the fact that they're elected and that they're accountable to the public very seriously. And so I think in their mind, they figure they're there to make the easy choices. They're there to make the hard choices. But clearly in the court of public opinion, I think that would have given it a greater air of impartiality because I think people, whether they know from personal experience or just know generally, there's a very close relationship between the district attorney's office and the Milwaukee Police Department. There almost has to be. For the criminal justice to function, police and prosecutors have to work cheek by jowl. There's no, there's no way around it. And that can create the, the appearance of, of conflict of interest when a officer is the subject of an investigation. So I think in the future, uh, that may be something the DA should clearly consider doing, whether state law should be changed to mandate it. I don't know that we want to give up. These are elected officials after all. They are ultimately accountable to the ballot box. So it's not like the public has no recourse. I don't know that I would advocate changing state law, but I would certainly urge DAs in the future to strongly consider the special prosecutor route to at least avoid the impression of conflict of interest and to give a greater air of impartiality to the proceedings. And I'm basically here because I do believe these substantive proposals make sense. Uh, I don't think anybody standing here today doesn't believe in the need for top-notch, responsible, accountable, effective policing in their districts. We all represent neighborhoods where the need for policing is probably the greatest. I know I do. I live in one of those neighborhoods. I don't want to see the police under siege. I don't want to have a war with uh, law enforcement in this community. I want them to be the allies of the neighborhood, to be the friends of the 